Thylacopa veripuncta is the largest of three carpenter bee species in California, with adults over one inch in length. Their name comes from their nesting behavior, characterized by round, half-inch diameter holes hollowed out by females in hardwood. Xylocopa veripuncta has high sexual dimorphism. The females are a jet-black color with large heads to support their strong nest-building mandibles. Despite their nesting behavior, carpenter bees do not eat wood and instead feed upon pollen and nectar, making them an important insect pollinator for many flowers. Here we see a female collecting nectar. Females are solitary, collecting pollen and nectar, which they form into balls stored deep in their nest tunnels. After breeding, they lay their eggs on these pollen balls in the early summer. The larva metamorphize in the fall and overwinter as adults, emerging the following spring to repeat the cycle. Nest tunnels are often reused by subsequent generations. Here, this female can be observed vibrating her wings while feeding. Xylocopa are unique among bees in that they can maintain their internal body temperature. This thermoregulatory behavior also allows for more pollen extraction from the anthers of the flower. Carpenter bees have been found to be superior pollinators compared with honeybees due to their large bodies, relatively long lifespan, and behavioral feeding techniques. An Israeli study has shown honeydew melons were pollinated by Xylocopa carpenter bees at a rate three times higher than honeybees. Here we see a male, distinguished by a yellow-gold body with bright green eyes. Like all hymenopterans, only the females have stingers. Male behavior, similar to polymorphism, is markedly different than the females. Males appear and behave so differently than females, it is an amateur assumption that they are different species entirely. For instance, only males were observed hovering around tree branches and foliage, whereas only females were observed feeding on flowers or flowering bushes. Their dimorphisms provide some insight into the purpose of their behaviors. Males attract females by secreting pheromones, which they rub onto plants and flowers. As males do not provide for their brood offspring and are polygonous, they compete with other males to mate with females. The three forms of behavior that lead to polygyny are female defense, resource defense, and male dominance polygyny. The territorial behavior of Xylocopa veripuncta males could be an interaction or combination of these three behavior mechanisms. If male dominance is the behavior mechanism, a reduction in territorialism by removing competing males from the experiment would be observed. But to accurately test between female defense and resource defense, which can overlap, another exclusion experiment must be performed this time with females. If female defense is the primary me mechanism for male territoriality, the male preference for territorialism near nesting sites can be controlled by removing females from the experiment. However, if resource defense is the mechanism, then a male preference for large patches would be observed despite presence or absence of females. 